Right. So, Ryan, uh, this afternoon, I'd like to welcome you to our Business Spotlight series. And I know that... I also know that the viewers will get a lot of value from this interview and from the lessons you've learned and that you're willing to share with them. So thank you for being with us. Pleasure. So would you, first of all, perhaps just start uh, to give our listeners and viewers an understanding of, you know, what is your business and when did you start it? So I started my business um, late 20, oh, sorry, late 2008. Um, that's when I was a sole proprietor and then uh, 2009 is when I actually registered as an actual business um, it's not my first business I started quite young in doing yeah. IT um, I was kind of you know doing a little few things on the side etc and from there then obviously I, I went into the formal formal job space and Mm -hmm. um through that i actually how i started my business was i lost my job through a back injury and mm -hmm. because i couldn't find another job uh, my parents kind of gave me like this ultimatum you know get a job like yesterday okay and anything um or come work for work for them or start my own thing um i was quite young back then i was 21 um so i couldn't find another job i definitely don't want to work for them no offense <laughs> um, but yeah so i decided to then just jump and do my own thing and obviously from that side is kind of where i then landed up at the moment yeah so what my business does as a whole uh we do multiple things but our core focus is support and maintenance it support and maintenance mm. So we do we do a number of things from that side, you know. Um, if I had to just give baseline example, yes. you know, so we like we have fully managed IT support for small to large businesses. Um, we do co-managed IT support for larger and enterprise businesses. So we've got a couple of enterprise businesses that we are speciality um, services, and uh, we assist the IT when they don't have the expertise in certain aspects. Okay. So from that support and maintenance aspect, uh, that's kind of where we, where we lean on. Um, we do push a lot in the cloud services and the bigger side of that is Microsoft 365. Okay. We've been doing Microsoft 365 since they launched in South Africa. Hmm. Um, I've grown that side of the business drastically and um, that's a big focus for us at the moment mm. uh we do a lot of a lot of web web hosting domain hosting uh cloud servers and virtual servers um, and yeah. we do network installations your camera installations internet voice hardware and software awesome so that's kind of us in a just mm. in terms of what we what we do um but yeah i've yeah. built my entire business purely on referrals certain aspects where we where i if everything everything about my business is i've grown it because as i said I, i've grown it purely on referrals yes is mm -hmm. everything give that service offering i would i would definitely find a partner that that's their, their core focus and mm -hmm. because that's their core focus, they, that's what they, they can specialize and they can offer the best of the best in relations of that. And then yeah. I'll make that partner accountable. Okay. Great stuff. Thanks for sharing that with us. So you've been growing and we had a chat just prior to the, um, starting the interview about business growth and so on, but your, your growth in your business, but what do you attribute that to specifically? So it comes down to service, service orientated. And I've look, I've always had a motto, motto to my for myself, you know, and that's never give up, no matter the circumstance. Um, trust me, there's been many occasions where I felt like giving up. And I'm sure many of us have as well. Yes. And I, I remember the one day particularly, I was, I was just, I was my mindset was not there. And I was really, really struggling. I got to a client, I sorted out the problem, and that client just said to me, thank you so much, Ryan. That right there just inspired me again. And yes. I was 
fully yes. motivated and it pushed me along. Eh? Yeah. But isn't it great to get positive feedback eh? once you've done a job? In this oh, 100%. Eh? Especially when, when you're in a selfless industry of IT support. Absolutely. <laughs> And people just want stuff to run. They don't understand what's in it. And you know, that black box thing. What's your biggest yeah. thing as an employer then uh, since you began the business? So, sorry, I didn't hear you properly there. Yeah, so the question is, what's your biggest learning that you've had um, as an employer in, in business? Look, from, from an employer point of view, so from a, a Staff, staff side, I, I think the one of the hardest lessons I've had to learn is how to manage staff. Um, I started when I was 21. I think I took on my first employee when I was 23. Um, and I, I grew I grew fairly rapidly and so did my staff. And I think the hardest thing I've had to learn is how to manage people. Yeah. Um, that was definitely one of the hardest things. Mm. With regards to staff, um in from an employer point of view as well uh that's letting staff go uh, that you you build a relationship with people and mm -hmm. you know when, when things don't work out you know letting someone go is it's incredibly difficult yeah yeah but from a business point of view i would say you know what, what big things that i've learned is you know in terms of managing money and making sure that that you, you're not overspending or you know, spending money that doesn't belong to you, especially when you start running with credit accounts with suppliers and mm -hmm. items from that side. You know, that's that's definitely one of the one of the biggest, most significant lessons I've learned is how to manage that process. And now, are you keep your VAT money separate and so on? <laughs> <laughs> so, so I actually, um, what how I how I manage that is that. I, I'm, I create multiple bank accounts. Most of my bank accounts then are designed to be in a, used for a purpose. Yeah. So I've got I've got one purely just for SARS. Okay, mm -hmm. that will be all my PAYE. That will be my VAT. That will yeah. be any company tax I need to pay. So every so every month, I always make sure that there's money going in there, and I always make sure that there's a little bit of extra money going in there as well. Yeah. If I need to pay profit tax, then I've got the money aside. I don't have to scramble to try and yes. find this. Yes. Um, when it comes to VAT, you know, we we do we do it every um, bi monthly. Yes. So, you know, I, I've it's put it's put it this way. I started the bank account because I, I learned the the lesson very, very quickly of how <laughs> SARS penalizes you for a second that you don't pay them. No, absolutely. Um, yeah. So that's kind of how I manage that and. No. Uh, so, so if, if I would ask you from a money side, you know, for business owners who've just started, what would you recommend to them in terms of what advice would you give them around money? So, look, definitely around money is you know un understanding how to how to put the money away mm -hmm. where you need to put the money away. Um, having the multiple bank accounts, having um, investments accounts, you know, like for example, building up capital. I've been I've been purely self funded for nearly sixteen years. Yeah. Um, you know I've 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 gone to the banks. You know I've been that the banks don't like a a single owner. Yeah. Uh, the risk is too high. So I've I've had to find ways of basically funding my own my own business, yeah. and that's through obviously whatever profit I make. Always make sure I put that into some sort of investment account and kind of forget about it yeah. um, mm -hmm. you know, and just every month just increase if you've got a little bit of extra profit that you made because you had an aspect deal come through then you know if you can take 10 percent of that and throw that into the investment accounts you know that's the that's the mm -hmm. best thing that anyone could do um, making sure that you obviously separate your money and understand how to how to use your money and have like your day-to-day your, yes. day, your average day-to-day -day spending, your mm. your um your your capital savings, your yes. SARS money put away, and definitely something to help you grow the business. You know, Absolutely. when you take an, an an employee, you know, if you if you can put away three months of their salary, it's mm. going to take you three months to get the person up and running and get them into a state in terms of making sure that they can now start generating you an income. Yeah, if you can have that three months put away. It helps you. 
That's straight it. straight off the bat, and you don't have to scramble to hope and mm. pray that you can actually yeah. keep this person. So some some unique things that you do that not every business owner does to manage their cash flow and to make sure that that's always in balance. So so great stuff there. Thank you for sharing that. So how do you balance personal life and business demands? <laughs> um, I only learned that once I uh, once I got a kid. Um, yeah. <laughs> so so if basically if everything everything between that was it's work 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 focus work focus work build the company build the company and put some time aside for family friends and um and whatever else there is so i did really struggle with this uh, i'm not going to deny that fact i think i had a, had a huge argument with one of my friends the one day I rocked up late at the pub and he told me that I'm completely disregarding his time and everything. I need to understand work-life balance and yeah. geez, I wish I really knew how to do this because yeah. it, it, took me, it took me 15 years to figure that out. Okay. And, yeah. and now there's a, a little baby and then you, you've got the lesson. <laughs> yes. I I, I literally had no choice. I had to figure it out. <laughs> yeah, so, but work-life balance has always been a difficult one for me. I, I think it's, it's the way that I was brought up. You yeah. know, I was brought up in in terms of, you know, if you want to achieve something in life, you work for it, you earn it, yeah. uh, because then you deserve it. Absolutely. Yeah. So, one of um, the previous interviews that I had, um, business owners spoke about blocks of golden time that he puts in his diary, like five to seven in the morning or you know five to six at night or whenever so time you put aside to spend with your, with your child or with your spouse or with you know whatever is important sometimes it's not only the family demands but what do we want to do for ourselves and how do we grow ourselves yeah. and keep on developing you know that's important yeah no 100 percent. look i did try that um being in IT support is very difficult to keep mm. a set schedule um, but now that I've, I've moved out of doing the actual support side of stuff and more into the actual running of the business, it's a yeah. lot more easier now to start actually specifying a little bit more time. And yeah, yeah. yeah. So get, getting the, the the choice to make you know to get the quality of life there is great. All right. Yes. So when recruiting new people and new team members, what qualities do you look for uh, in these people? Look, to, to be honest, when when I'm recruiting for IT support, it's mm. all about passion. Because trust me, IT support, like I said earlier, it's a very selfless, mm. uh, it's, it's a selfless game to be in because most occasions people don't they they, they don't care what you what you put into it or or how you got them back up and running. They just want to be up and running so that they can get their job done, so that they can get paid. So passion is a big driving aspect of this because mm. it's rare that we actually get a thank you for the work that we do. Yes. Yes. Um, yeah. So I actually, I've got quite a stringent process in terms of interviewing, you know, and like through that, through that process is where I'm going to kind of determine in relation to, you know, what is your passion for IT? Yeah. No. Okay. Yeah. Because uh, it could be long hours, isn't it? Um, and you need some dedication. Yeah, definitely. There's, yeah, there's. Geez, I think I remember the one day I did a. I had a server down. I was. I think I finished at that client site at three o'clock in the morning. Uh, I went home, showered, climbed into bed for half an hour, got back up, smacked my face with some cold water. Uh, we got. I was back at site at six o'clock in the morning. Uh, carry on, make sure everything was up and running, and then I carried on my day until five o'clock. So, it's. <laughs> Obviously, when there's a lot involved uh, in it. If your staff are clock watchers, and no, that's not going to work in your industry, in any support sort of type industry. No, so, definitely not. Eh? So, Ryan, um, what do you, where do you see yourself five years from now? Look, see myself five years from now. Um, so, I'm in the process of setting up another company, um, a software development company, and. So five years from now is making sure that, that that company is up and running and integrated within my my current company, mm. uh, where they, they they kind of fit within each other, they support each other, and hopefully I'll be on a beach somewhere 
and um, or on my yacht somewhere, and I'll be More making sure the companies are running. <laughs> <laughs> so, nice. so look, it's, I, I always said I'd retire at thirty, but yeah, that that hasn't happened yet. So, doesn't so, happen, yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. but definitely within five years, I want to make sure that my my new company is self sustainable. Okay, excellent. Thanks for yeah. sharing. So, what's the one question that I should have asked you but didn't, and what is the answer to it? That 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 is probably the most difficult side of doing it because mm. through doing IT, and I'm sure with with any other form of business, you love to hate the game, if I can put so. Mm. You know, and you, it's it's taking what your passion was. Um, I, when I was a little kid, I think my first first computer was a three eight six, and um, it's, it's it's keeping that passion alive. You know, that spark yeah. alive, uh, yeah. which which is incredibly difficult with most people when they make their passion their yeah their business. No, absolutely. Yes. But uh, you know, I see it quite often that you get sole proprietors and people who. You know, their passion becomes their their hobby, uh, becomes their job, uh, and sometimes forced because they get retrenched and you know things happen. And that uh, yep. a lot of a lot of business owners start businesses because they had some difficulty in life or in corporate or whatever. So, last question to you: If you yep. had a magic wand and could spread some magic dust on your business, which area would you spread it on, and why? Um, that would definitely be in a funding point of view, um, magically creating some money out of nowhere. Because at the end of the day, you know, in, in order to grow the business, you know, you need to make sure that you've got the funds. So mm -hmm. like, I've, I've always got this aspect of I have to have at least three months worth of my my expenses put away. Yeah. Anything over and above that then is what, what I can use to, to fund the business further and um, you know, take on new staff or go out, go on like a marketing campaign or or do something to to really like push the growth of the business or, or take that new idea that I had and yes. you know like really start putting in in into that. So if I had a magic wand, it would definitely be on a funding point of view. Get some funding and great stuff. Brian, a last comment from you um, to our listeners. Again, it, it comes down to to my motto of life. You know, it's, it's never give up because yeah. as soon as you give up, then th there goes there goes the opportunity for all. You know, it's absolutely you, 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 yeah you, you you create the opportunity for everyone else, and as soon as you give up, you, you lose a you break that opportunity for everyone else beneath you. And thank you for sharing all those um, very interesting thoughts, and uh, I'm sure there's a lot of people can learn. Appreciate you. Wish you well for the next five years. And yeah, we'll keep in touch. Make sure that we see what that business looks like. Thank you. You too. Eh? Thank you.